So thank you. Uh, so I want to talk something about uh, uh, this stability. Well, uh, something about this stability and something about uh, the algebra which is not necessary this stable. So, uh, so in the first part, uh, uh, I'm going to talk something which uh, actually is not this stable. Uh, a class of uh, cyst algebra called the Velasen algebras, and they are famous class of non uh, uh, this stable algebras and uh, I want to present uh, a classification of uh, this class of non zero stable cyst algebras. Um, so uh, let's see what is uh, a Velasen algebra. Let's uh, start with uh, a space X. Uh, it's a. It's going to be the the seed uh, to to build up uh, the um, the Velasen algebra. So so X uh, uh, be a compact. Uh, my space. So if you like, you can uh, take uh, x uh, to be uh, cube, uh, or you, uh, uh, you want some non-trivial case here, you can look at spheres, but uh, the cube by itself is already uh, interesting enough. Mm. So we start uh, with a very, very nice uh, space, even finite dimensional. Uh, not a zero dimension, but some finite dimensional space and uh, connected. And uh, uh, we look at this X. Uh, uh, we want to build something not this stable. So we want to have something with uh, uh, very fast uh, uh, dimension growth. So actually, it's not, uh, not a slow dimension growth. So, so you want to. Uh, uh, look uh, 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 the the product. So you have x. So you 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 look uh, uh, copies of x, and uh, then build uh, the product again uh, uh, based on this guy. So you you want to see a growth, and uh, and so on. So. So now the, uh, the, those are the spaces, and between uh, a space and uh, uh, its product, there are lots of uh, uh, maps, the, the coordinate projections. You have n, n product, then you can uh, project the space into the first coordinate, second coordinate, and so on. So, um, so the, this roughly is the core uh, of uh, uh, well, our Velasen algebra. So you have uh, uh, you have those uh, coordinate uh, projections pi one, uh, pi n one, and over here uh, again you have uh, coordinate projections pi one, pi n uh, this is n two, n two, and so on. So. So if you work uh, on uh, H algebras, then uh, very naturally you can look uh, uh, this H system. So, so the, the the next is C of X N one, but uh, you have to find the matrix space to accommodate all of those uh, maps. So N one. Here is M N one N two uh, X N one N two and so on. Then you have uh, ah, the other one, and you have the algebra homomorphism and the algebra homomorphism. Yeah, 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 right. That's you can see. Um, 
Yeah, let's uh, let's ignore uh, ignore it. Otherwise, too many things. So, so you have a map f a. Uh, you have a continuous uh, uh, function over x, or maybe a matrix value the continuous function over this guy. You just send it to the next stage. Uh, you have uh, a bunch of uh, uh, coordinate projections. The uh, uh, the first one, uh, second one, and so on. Uh, well, n of something. Then you put them on the diagonal. Uh, this is going to be a, a, a bigger matrix uh, uh, value of the function. You just, you just keep doing this. Um, so at least this is the H algebra. Uh, but uh, if you only look at this, then this H algebra uh, is uh, uh, not uh, simple. Is, is actually it is far away uh, from a simple system algebra. Then, then what? So then how to fix that? We are going to uh, add uh, some extra things on this corner. Uh, so we are going to add some uh, point evaluations on this corner. So slightly enlarge uh, the the size of the matrices. Just a slightly. And uh, and then the algebra uh, you get is a, a very less algebra. Okay. So so I'm going to draw the draw, draw the picture here again. You start with x. Uh, you have that non-simple H system, but you you enlarge it slightly. So here is n one, but then uh, plus k one. Uh, Okay, I, I write a C. So now the, the, the space size is N1. Uh, now you have F. Uh, you send it to first. Uh, you uh, uh, compose all of those uh, uh, coordinate projections. So you take care of every coordinate. Uh, but then you uh, take some point evaluation, so some 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 point x one and point x uh, k one. Okay, so so this is the small perturbation part, and the x one and the, uh, x k one, uh, they are some point uh, inside x. So you, you, you only choose a teeny tiny amount of uh, uh, points. But as, as, uh, well, teeny tiny portion, I, I really mean the compared to N1, they are uh, small, but uh, you, you, you are able to choose those X, uh, the, 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 the evaluation point so that they are still relatively dense in X. So, so you can really make the limit algebra to be a simple system algebra. So this is a Villas algebra. Uh, so those are, uh, okay. Choose those evaluation point x1, xn, uh, uh, xk1, and, uh, and so on, so on. You, you also choose some point here. You are able to choose them uh, so that uh, uh, the limit uh, is a simple. Okay. Uh, yes, sir, sir, sir. Uh, apart from picking the points in the original space, we also have to pick their lifts up to the. Yes, the, the next stage, you choose the point over here. Yeah, but they have to, you choose them in such a way that they project to those points, right? Is that important? No, no, uh -oh. no, no. Uh, uh, you, you, you choose a point here, then you, you, they, uh, well, see, uh, actually you don't uh, want that. Uh, 
uh, you um, uh, at first, uh, well, for, for this stage, you choose point here. Okay. For that stage, you choose point here. But you really want to make sure that uh, uh, the image of uh, those point in your first stage, the image of the point uh, uh, here, in your first stage, eventually they, they should be dense. That guarantees the simplicity. So and now you see that uh, you, you don't want the image of this. Uh, yes. Yeah. But you, 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 uh, you can do that. Yeah. Mm. So the nice thing about uh, Velasen algebra is that uh, uh, Velasen's algebra or Velasen's construction, uh, to, my to my knowledge, is more or less uh, the only way to construct non-zero stable cis algebras, nuclear. That's, that's okay. But uh, if you mean to have, um, for instance, have stable rank one. Uh, uh, the second uh, cons we, we construct. Did, uh, Two, two yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 of course, yes, so, yes. Yeah, this is the first kind of uh, construction. Yeah. There right. is also a second I kind. Would, I would yeah. tend to distinguish between them, but uh, yeah. they're not, they're, they're somehow different in nature. Yes, yes, they, they, they are, they, they are. Uh, the only example, so. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, theorem. So why 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 uh, Velasen construct this kind of algebra? That uh, you can choose uh, x so that uh, uh, the uh, the limit algebra the the, the limit simple. AH algebra uh, have some uh, uh, perforation in the uh, in case theory first. Okay. There exists a simple AH algebra. Well, actually, construct uh, something like this. Uh, Constructed as above, you you can take x to start with a sphere or t square and so on. Uh, so that uh, uh, the k zero group, the order of the k zero group uh, has a perforation. Uh, means that uh, the, there exist uh, some, uh, uh, um, let's say P and uh, Q uh, uh, projections uh, in the matrix algebra. There are projections such that uh, uh, N of P uh, is bigger the n of q for some n, uh, but uh, but the p is a uh, uh, q is not smaller than p. Let's say this. So, so you can have something uh, 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 in k zero group such that n of that. Uh, uh, n fold of that element is positive, but itself is not positive. The positive cone can have some hole. So in particular, this algebra cannot be this stable. Simple, simple. Uh, the after this, there are uh, 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 many, uh, other constructions based on this. Uh, for example, you can have, uh, uh, well, the uh, Rodam have, uh, had a construction 
uh, not AH algebra, but uh, uh, but uh, some construction based on Velasquez construction showed uh, that there exists the simple cis algebra, uh, which uh, um, which uh, has finite projection and at the same time has an infinite projection, and uh, um, and uh, uh, and also here is uh, uh, Andrew Tom's example. Uh, See, this algebra has a preparation on K group. Uh, uh, and you go uh, went further. I actually, uh, he showed that you can start with the seed, uh, seed space to be interval, a cube interval. Uh, then you can have a cyst algebra uh, so that it has a, uh, the, well, if you look at K0 group, that's the same as a point. As a, uh, there it's unpreparated. Uh, so the Elliott invariant is the same as uh, uh, interval algebra, but uh, it uh, still have some perforation, not, not uh, in the K0 group, but in the cone semi group. So, so there exists. Uh, uh, Velas algebra. Uh, a a built uh, out of uh, uh, an interval. Let's say with with the C's, C's space to be an interval. So very uh, key theoretically very simple one. Uh, such as that this uh, a of interval uh, has. Uh, the same uh, value of uh, the Elliot uh, invariant of some AI algebra. So AI algebra is some classifiable algebra. But uh, this uh, A of I is uh, not A I. So, so, so this, uh, this is the uh, theorem. Well, this is a construction of uh, Andrew, Andrew Thomas. Uh, but how to distinguish uh, uh, this algebra from uh, AI algebra, uh, well, we look uh, perforation on, on cone the semi group. So, why? So, you make it you have the same invariant as the layer algebra? No. You can't. No. Uh, because the AF algebra, the, the projection separate the traces. Okay. No. It, so, so this is the first point. This is the first point. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Uh, I I should say that uh, this uh, construction is a uh, is a so called uh, Willison's uh, first uh, kind of construction. And the, the second construction you can make it in a uh, Yes. In yes. You area. you can make it uh, to have a unique trace. Yeah. But but not the first kind. Yeah. Uh, so why? Uh, now, now this guy will have uh, perforation uh, in uh, in cone the semi group. So instead of K zero group, now we we uh, we look at uh, cone the uh, cone the semi group. 
Yeah. So let's um, let's see how to how to uh, how to compare them. So if we talk about the Kuhn semi group, we look at comparison of uh, positive elements rather than projections. Comparison of positive elements. Yeah. So let's look at this algebra A and uh, look at uh, uh, two uh, elements uh, in algebra A or maybe in some matrix algebra of A to two positive elements. Uh, then we say that A is uh, uh, smaller than B, called smaller than B by definition. Uh, we say that there exists uh, a sequence of element Xn uh, in uh, in there such that Xn star B Xn uh, converge to A. So we compare po uh, positive elements in the Kong sense. Okay. Uh, So so also we uh, just like uh, uh, just like in the projection case, uh, uh, the comparison of uh, the positive elements in the projection case it's exactly the Mori von Neumann uh, sub equivalence for for projections. Uh, but uh, if we look at the comparison for projections, we also look at uh, traces. Like a vector bundle, you, 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 the, the, the rank of a vector bundle. Uh, and here we, we, we want to do similar thing. We look at the ranks of, of, of uh, the, the rank functions of, of uh, the positive elements. So, so now that A, uh, in well, some uh, some positive elements in A or uh, in, in the matrix uh, algebra over A. Uh, now let a tau uh, be a trace of A, a trace of state of A. Well, uh, uh, in this talk, let's assume all the C's algebra are unital and. Uh, uh, traces, uh, uh, quasi traces, quasi traces are traces, and uh, everything are nuclear. So, uh, so take a trace of state and uh, define the rank of A uh, under the trace tau. We define it to be well, you have A. Uh, you uh, in general you think uh, that uh, we measure a uh, under the trace uh, but we, we we really look at the rank so we take the nth root uh, you have well, you have this function you make it uh, um, well uh, uh, more and more and more like uh, this the characteristic function over the uh, over the 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 open ray Okay, then let n go to infinity. So this gives you a number and let's call this to be the rank, the rank of A under the trace tau. Uh, so why call it a rank? So, so. So one example is that suppose uh, uh, suppose a is uh, uh, a is uh, uh, well uh, the algebra a is a complex number c. Uh, then uh, you have the standard uh, trace on c. Uh, 
that's uh, exactly the rank of A as, as a matrix. And uh, another example is that uh, let's take A to be uh, C of X and uh, and then uh, take a continuous function. Let's pick a continuous function exactly in A, not, in, not go to matrix algebra. Uh, pick, a, pick F to be some continuous function from X to uh, R plus some positive function. And let, let, uh, let's take some tau uh, uh, being a trivial state. So, so that's, uh, that corresponds to a Borel probability measure. Then the, uh, then the rank function here uh, is exactly uh, the, uh, the measure of the open support. So you look at uh, the function, you look at the pre-image of zero to infinity. So, so the support of the function, but the open support, not the closed support. Then, then you look at the measure. Uh, that's the rank function. Uh, so the comparison, uh, in general, uh, well, uh, over here you have uh, the topological size, the cones size, well, the, the size of an element in the cones semigroup, that, uh, that uh, has a topological nature. It's so like a, a comparison of projections. In general, uh, if uh, A is smaller than B in the cones semigroup, uh, this uh, implies that the rank of A is uh, always, uh, uh, let's assume they are different, okay? Uh, and A not equal to B, and uh, not equivalent to B. Uh, what should I say? Not, uh, not equivalent to B. Then the, uh, the rank of A must be smaller than uh, rank of B. Okay. For all tau, for, for all traces. Mm. Yeah, uh, uh, let's just forget about that. Let's say, 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 say uh, 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 allow this side to be equal. But the comparison really asks the Converse of this. So, so if something has a small measure, should it have a small, uh, small class in the cone the semi group? So, so, so the comparison really ask the, uh, ask the converse. And in general, the converse is not the truth. Uh, even for projections, you know that. Uh, you can have two projections, uh, even have the same, same uh, well, yeah, so, so you, uh, uh, two vector bundles, one, one vector bundle uh, has a smaller rank and the other one has a, a, a bigger rank, but, but in general, the smaller rank vector bundle cannot be embedded into a, a vector bundle with a bigger rank. In general, it's not true. Uh, but uh, uh, but let's uh, see. Uh, let's look. Uh, uh, well, uh, the case when 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 it is true. So the definition is that uh, a is uh, side uh, to have. Uh, uh, what should I say? The 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 the, the strict comparison. Uh, 
uh, strict comparison by by traces. If uh, the converse uh, more or less true, if if you ignore uh, the equality, so it's a strict comparison. If uh, if d tau of a is strictly uh, less than d tau of b, then this uh, implies uh, a smaller than b. Okay. And uh, uh, a theorem is that uh, uh, the well-behaved cis algebras have the strict comparison. I mean, the AI algebra, AH algebra with uh, slow dimension girls, or ASH algebra with slow dimension girls. Uh, the stable algebras, they all have strict comparison. Yeah. If, uh, a tends to be isomorphic to A. Yeah. This is due to Rodan. Then A has a strict comparison. But uh, uh, this algebra. It does not have a strict comparison. It, 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 it will have perforation, something like this, but instead of projections, uh, uh, they fail it for some positive elements. Okay. Yeah. So, so this, uh, this is why. Uh, why those guys are not this stable? But uh, so Vilas algebra can fail to uh, can fail to have uh, uh, the strict comparison. Yeah. But what's the relation between strict comparison and the um, amplification? Uh, uh, almost the amplification. If if algebra is exact, uh, uh, simple, uh, they're equivalent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This uh, uh, this uh, uh, the 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 almost unperforation uh, basically tell you this. Yeah. Tell you that uh, uh, you can compare two. Well, if if one tr one one rank is smaller than the other, yeah. then you can compare. Compare two elements up to some um, multiplicity, but then then then, then the almost unperforation tell you that you can forget about the, uh, you can forget about the multiplicity. Just just look the original again. Yes. So, but uh, but anyway, we. Uh, it failed to have a strict comparison, but it, it still might have some some kind of a comparison. It might not be that strict. And uh, and here is the the a concept introduced by Andrew Thomas, something called the radius of a comparison. So, so in general, we know that uh, this implication fail. But uh, maybe we can add something here. Uh, say one, yes, the rank of one element is smaller than the rank of the other one, but uh, not only smaller, uh, with some gap. So maybe the gap is large enough, then the uh, converse still holds. And then we, we look at those uh, allowable gap. We look at all of those, then look at the infimium. Uh, that, is a, that is the radius of comparison. 
So, so what am I talking is that we, we look at those nice guys. So we, we look at uh, uh, some number R uh, with the property that uh, the, if uh, you have A and B, if uh, uh, rank of A is uh, smaller than uh, rank of B, uh, and, uh, with a gap R, uh, uh, this uh, uh, for some A and B, uh, uh, and uh, this should be true for all trivial state. So suppose suppose this implies uh, A uh, called smaller than B. So so we we pick all of those nice. Uh, uh, R, I think this is, is just to say this implies this. We look at all of those R. And look at the infimium. So this is called the radius of a comparison of A. If, if no such R exists, then the radius of comparison is infinity. The infimium of uh, empty set, let's, uh, let's say it's uh, infinity. Uh, and uh, uh, you can see that uh, uh, strict comparison exactly corresponds to radius of comparison being zero. And uh, And uh, uh, if you look at this example, uh, the, 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 this uh, Velas algebra, then the radius of a comparison is not zero, okay? Because it's a strict comparison. But, but then it turns out that uh, this uh, number, this uh, radius of a comparison basically classified the Velas algebra like this, with the seed space being uh, being some uh, contractible space. So here is a theorem. Is a. Elliot, uh, and uh, me. So, so let's start with uh, uh, some uh, some seed space. Uh, let's take uh, X uh, to be some. Uh, 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 some product of some contractible space D and the Y uh, to be uh, some other uh, product of a contractible space uh, D. Uh, actually, uh, only K, uh, K theoretical contractible is enough, but uh, let's see it's contractible. And here D uh, contractible and uh, uh, we 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 do require that this uh, itself has a finite uh, finite uh, topological dimension. Uh, then you just uh, uh, build uh, uh, some Velas uh, uh, algebra from this space, and you just uh, choose. Uh, basically choose the space multiplicity and the matrix multiplicity arbitrary. So you, you are allowed to choose a different uh, multiplicity. Okay. And uh, then you look uh, uh, the other seed space, you build another uh, Velas algebra uh, with your favorite multiplicities, then uh, 
then these two isomorphic if and only if first those uh, those multiplicity uh, they should uh, give you the same uh, supernatural number i mean the the the, the, the k0 k0 should be same uh, Uh, well, k0 of uh, x and k0 of y, this should be same, and uh, the radius of a comparison should be same. So this, this, these two numbers has to be same. So this... Uh, this is just some classification of uh, uh, non stable um, C star algebras. Uh, so maybe I give you a, a formula of uh, the radius of a comparison. Actually, it's been uh, it's uh, it's kind of a, a crucial formula for our approach. We really need uh, the formula of the radius of a comparison to get uh, informations of uh, uh, the the space multiplicity, the matrix multiplicity, uh, and so on. So. Just uh, with uh, with this notation, uh, the, the the space multiplicity is n i, uh, and uh, the number of the point evaluations k i. Uh, then the then the radius of a comparison of uh, that algebra is exactly one half. First, you have your space X, the, the dimension of A is uh, this algebra. Yeah. This algebra. Uh, arbitrary X. Okay. Arbitrary X. Yeah. Yeah. Arbitrary space x uh, but uh, we we have to assume x uh, uh, we call it a solid so so which means that uh, you look at the dimension uh, uh, say, say space has a dimension n it should contains a ball somewhere with a dimension n euclidean ball <laughs> which is called a solid so 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 then uh, dimension x, then, th then you have those uh, ratios. Uh, you have your space uh, portion, which is n1. Uh, then the size of, of the matrix, that's your first uh, ratio. Then the second ratio. Then the infinite product. So, so this is... Uh, this is the, the um, well. This is the uh, the formula for radius of comparison, and uh, we really need this formula to to, to deal with uh, this algebra. And uh, let me well, I have two minutes. I feel like one of the products would be finite. Otherwise, why is it always finite? Yeah, it will always be finite because uh, yeah, yeah, finite. Uh, you know, I, I assume uh, this is finite. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, we yeah we 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 assume space X uh, itself. Uh, about the product. Those are uh, the number smaller than one, so it forms a decreasing sequence. Yes, and uh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, then that's good. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, it's good.
so 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 let me talk, uh, say, say something about uh, the the proof uh, the proof basically uh, uh, we 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 reduce it uh, more or less to some old tricks in the classification of AH algebras. The first is the marriage lemma, the 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 um, uh, the, the comparison of um, uh, the, the pairings of uh, eigenvalue maps. So so we we really want to pair those uh, point evaluations. You you have one one uh, one Vlas algebra. You have one sequence of uh, point evaluations. You have another one. You have another sequence of point evaluations. We want to we want to pair them, and uh, to pair them, we we, we really look at the trace, and uh, and uh, uh, and then the, the some of the tricks uh, enable us to 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 really be able to do that. And then the second tr uh, trick is the stable uniqueness theorem for AH algebras. The, uh, we, we have to use this formula. Uh, we uh, see, see, we have uh, the, the, the connection map looks like you, you send the F to something with uh, uh, the, the space product, then, then, then something about the point evaluations. And you have another uh, uh, Vilas algebra. Uh, uh, more or less, you have something very similar. Uh, so uh, over here, you have uh, uh, the, the space part. Then over here, you have point evaluation. You, you use a marriage lemma. You, you, you can take, take care of uh, these two portions of uh, um, po uh, point evaluation, but only a large portion of these two, small, but not that small portion. So. So you can take care of this path. You can take care of this part, but you still have some, uh, some small things. Maybe those small things contain some of the uh, point, uh, the coordinate projections, but, uh, uh, but then you, you, this small piece is really small, even compared to this uh, small, but not that small. Uh, point evaluations, then, then you play the stable uniqueness theorem with uh, these two pieces. You can find out a unitary, conjugate uh, this to that approximately. Yeah, but if you handle something smaller, you have something larger. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and the larger. Uh, the, the larger thing is this piece. And that's, that's trivial. Right? Trivial. Yes, the, the larger piece we use a marriage lemma to handle. So, so, so they are really same. I, I am oh, the, uh, uh, the, it's. Um, ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, 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 it talk about, uh, uh, it talk about, uh, well, in this version, uh, uh, suppose you have uh, a space, some space, you have two homomorphism, uh, two matrix algebra with same size, phi and the psi, then each of them comes from the point evaluation, right? This comes from those points. This comes from uh, different points. Then the marriage lemma basically says that uh, assume some density. It comes from the simplicity of the algebra. Then uh, if this two map uh, more or less induce the same trace, then you can uh, pair the point, those points one to one. Well, pair them uh, and so that uh, uh, they are very close. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I stop here and uh, continue after the break.